Hello, this is Heather from Twist My Stitch. Thank you for joining me for this tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to seamlessly change colors when working a half double crochet in the round and how to carry the yarn through multiple color changes. Thank you to Audrey from Canoe Mountain Designs for requesting this video. Check the description below for a link to her shop and other stitches using this technique. First, I'll show you how to pick up the yarn on the first color change. You'll start your last stitch of the round as normal and stop just before you pull the last loop of the stitch through. Pick up your new color and pull it through. Sometimes you'll have to adjust the height of the last stitch in the round. Just give the old color a gentle tug until it looks right. Hold the tail of the new color and the old color together and work over them while you slip stitch to the first stitch of the round and as you work your chain one. Draw the slip stitch tight and work the chain. This will lock the yarns within the first chain of the round. Then take the old color and hold it out of the way while you work over the tail of the new color for a few stitches. You'll weave that tail in later. Next, I'll show you how to carry the yarn through multiple color changes. You'll start your last stitch of the round as normal and stop just before you pull the last loop of the stitch through. Pick up the carried yarn and pull it through the last loop of the stitch. Then insert your hook into the first stitch of the round and work a slip stitch. Drop the old color down in front while grabbing the carried yarn to finish the slip stitch. Draw the slip stitch tight and work the chain. Then drop the old color to the back and hold it out of the way while you work the next few stitches. This is the right side of the seam and this is the wrong side of the seam. And that's all there is to changing and carrying colors in the round. Please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and click on that bell to get notified of future videos. If you have a video request, send me an email and subscribe to my blog at twistmystitch.com. You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. Thank you for watching, and now go twist my stitch.